This episode is brought to you by the Weather Channel app. Did you know the app can help you forecast more than just the weather? With allergy tracking and flu risk mapping. So you know when to stay inside and load up on podcasts. As well as air quality and UV indexing. So you know when to get outside, load up on sunscreen and podcast. Forecast more of what you love with the Weather Channel app. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, the Hell House thing I think is gonna be kind of cool. I can't wait to hear. I'm about looking like forward to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're we're gonna uh, the folks from Boo Bays are gonna like executive produce it or whatever. Just means they sit in on the interviews and things, you know. But mm-hmm. um, I think it'd be cool because they've got a built-in audience already, and then mm-hmm. you pass it on to this, and like I say, you throw some stuff on Reddit, make people yell at you, and you know, I mean, it's that easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> just that easy yeah well hey there kate how are you good how are you (laughs) let me turn on this radio voice here i I told you this morning i i I don't know what it is like my wife came it came through the living room a couple of times and i'm just sitting there in my underwear and my socks you know and i'm just (laughs) like i'm scrolling through my phone just like doom scrolling or whatever and and she's like what are you doing i said i don't know i just can't get going for some reason i usually it's a shower that gets me you know yeah. it wakes me up yeah uh but by then i've downed at least one c- thing of coffee um i don't know, I don't know. It's, just, it's it's sleepy time at my house well that's exactly how zach was this morning how really like, yeah because usually he'll like come i wonder if it has something to do with the weather and maybe stuff. yeah and like my mom's getting sick so i think i don't know maybe like everyone's getting your mom? like she, she gets bronchitis every oh, year this yeah. time of year. So does Suzanne. Every yeah. year. But, um, yeah, I was like, she. it's like 7.30, so I like walked in there in the living room, you know, and I was like, I see like the top of his head yeah. on the couch. Yeah. And I'm like, I like look over, and he's yeah. just asleep. Yeah. And like, I yeah. was like, this never happens. And, you know, our dog jumped on him, and he was like, oh, sorry. And I was like, it's okay. <laughs> he was like, I just fell asleep. Like, you're tired. Okay. You're tired, man. I mean, that's it's just the fine. way it is. I was yeah. like, but I do have to have you take the baby because I got to go. Nah, <laughs> you know? But, right. you know, it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's the weather. You don't call it babysitting, do you? What do you mean? Like when he watches the baby? Mm-mm. It's not babysitting. It's your kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's just like your time oh, or day dad for the is baby. babysitting. No, he's oh, not. No. It's his child. It's his child. Yeah, <laughs> it's no. It's not the same thing no. at all. No, it's just his time to have the. I don't he's know. He's not getting 20 bucks in a pizza. No, you know? he's, he's not. Yeah. No. Yeah. I That's always go. rubbed me weird. Yeah. I don't know. It, 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 the, the thing that always. <laughs> sorry, this is a little soapbox. <laughs> stupid soapbox <laughs> that I didn't know was coming up. Um, it, uh, women deserve all the credit for being mothers going through that process being Mm -hmm. life givers all of that stuff yeah but dads aren't totally idiots a lot of the time even though we are portrayed as the biggest doofuses when it comes to babies yeah i can entertain a freaking baby yeah you know i can feed my baby yeah i mean i i went through that with all of our kids yeah you know um but boy if you watch a AT&T commercial, we're a bunch of idiots. You yeah. Know? And I don't know if AT&T has that commercial. Yeah. Right. I'm just assuming. <laughs> no, Chick-fil-A. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Glad bag. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, there are times where I'm like, really? Yeah. yeah. Because there'll be times I like, you know, he'll take him to the store or whatever, and I'll go pick him up, and he's in a swimsuit. I'm well, like, that's different. What? He's like, what do you mean? I'm like. He, he's in his swim. You put the child in the sw- in yeah. a swimsuit. He goes, yeah. "Oh, this is a swimsuit." It just feels like some of his other because he has like those bamboo See? outfits. They're like real yeah. soft, yeah, little, yeah, like. Yeah. So he was like, "It felt the same," <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, well, the baby's in the swimsuit today." Well, it's got dolphins on it. Yeah, but, yeah. it's like has little like s- dancing crabs on. Yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. And so I was like, "Okay, just thought it was you know, festive. yeah." Or he'll put him like in full pajamas. I just love the fact that it had the 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 little underwear in it already. You know, the swimsuit. No, <laughs> it's just like, mesh stuff. okay, you know, yeah. there's like questionable things, yeah. but ne- it's like never, it's like funny things. Sure. Not like. Sure. It's not like dropping put- a kid on his head. Right. Or, they're not like yeah. putting them in danger. Right. It's just like funny dad things. Yeah. That they're like, 
but I, I put the diaper on backwards at first or you're, like whatever. You're also dealing with folks, though, like myself, that this morning I, I, I was really proud of myself last night. I got home like at 8.30 last night, and um, I, our trash people did not pick up our um, – recycling yesterday uh-huh. and so or the day before yesterday and so i called the city had them come out and get it yesterday and all this the can was still out there doesn't matter but anyway i got home uh and i took the trash can for today because today is our actual trash day yeah which it all goes to the same place um but uh and so i, I wish we had a better recycling program yeah 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 oh recycling like i've told you the place i used to work mm-hmm. i would watch the trash truck go down the street and they would put both of them just into the same thing mm-hmm. didn't matter yeah it just makes you feel good, is all it is. Yeah. Well, now, but, like, we had that styrofoam thing. Yeah. And then now it, like, doesn't work. Yeah. It, like, broke. So, like, they don't have the money to fix it or something. Have you ever told you the story of, well, let me finish this one. Yes. I've got two stories. <laughs> uh, this is the first one. So, I'm dragging out the trash can for today, putting up the trash can for yesterday, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm ahead of the game. Because yeah. usually I have to bust my butt to get it all done Friday morning. Right. Right. But then I realized, well, dumbass, you haven't gotten all the trash from inside the house. So I got all that together this morning, and I'm just like, I don't care. And so I just went out in my underwear and threw the trash away in the trash can out front and Mm -hmm. stuff. I just don't care. So it's stuff like that, you know, where we just – somebody sees me, I'm a boxer. I don't – whatever. You're like, okay. Who gives a crap? I don't – Yeah, I mean, like, that's like (laughs) when Zach mows. Yeah. He has a shirt off, uh-huh. and he's like in swim trunks, and just <laughs> and so our neighbors are like, just so you can just go jump in the water. Yeah, but yeah. he like, I mean, people are like, well, see, to he's us, scary looking. To us, it feels like we're we're solving two problems. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so, I wouldn't put pants on to put my trash out. You, screw you, I'm yeah. not doing that. Who cares? If someone's offended, whatever. So the the other story, and then mm-hmm. we'll get started on these tapes, but um. Uh, used to be, uh, we had five teenagers in the house at one time, right? So we had a buttload of trash all the time. Oh yeah. Um, and so I remember putting the trash out one time and I think I'm, I've never understood what I can throw away and what I can't. The, the, the rules on that are just compared to recycling. Right. Okay. Right. So like, I know I can't throw a can of paint in there i yeah. get that right yeah things like a tv tube you know or a battery or right yeah. mm-hmm. right i get it i'm throwing batteries away but um, i have a bag of batteries i'm a are you? i'm a psycho yeah i'm like i gotta find where i can tape that <laughs> and you'll never do it yeah I know. you know what you they do? sit on my dining room table you, you tie a you tie a, a knot in it you just keep it by your bed in case somebody ever breaks in you just hit them with a bag of batteries there you go that's what it is it's just a cheap weapon um so <laughs> unlike oranges it will leave bruises though. yes um so i roll the trash out and it's got like some styrofoam and stuff in it yeah i i assume <coughs> you can throw that stuff away well I yeah don't because know. Un- unless you have like where else am i gonna put it yeah styrofoam well now yeah we're supposed to be able to recycle it here but yeah, yeah like so uh the trash guy comes through our little cul-de-sac i'm I already have a chip on my shoulder about trash because they were always screwing it up. And so I'm And it keeps going up. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole different thing. But uh I'm watching him through the window <laughs> out yeah. front. He stops. And you know, they don't even get out anymore, right? They've just got the one thing. I feel bad for these guys because it's gotta be a, such a lonely, stinky job. You know, it used to be at least you had a couple of guys with you or something. Yeah. But he starts picking through my trash and throwing some of the stuff up on the yard. And I'm like, I, I go out and I say, "Hey, what, what are you, what are you doing?" Yeah. He goes, "Sir, you need to calm down." <gasps> I said, "What, what are you talking about? I'm just asking you what you're doing with my trash and yeah. why you're throwing it in my yard, sir. If you don't calm down, I'm going to take away your trash rights." What? That's not a thing. That's not a I'm thing. I'm paying taxes. I get yeah. trash. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's something I refer to all the time. I tell my and my wife, you know, don't throw that away. They'll take away our trash rights. Or <laughs> trash rights. Yeah. That means nothing. <sighs> Do, yeah. yeah that's hmm that's so interesting yeah that somebody would take their job that seriously that uh, they're gonna tell me or or tell me they're gonna i mean we threw away our things. whole kitchen when we redid our house did you so, yeah like right out front just some of the yard it, some of it <coughs> went into our trash appliances can. do you take over to um no well mr appli- we didn't have the stove was brand new <coughs> we kept that there was no microwave. Okay. 
And the you have one now. Yes. Yes. Uh, because I thought it was a great idea to do a drawer microwave. Mm. Then I started researching how much they are. Oh, they're super expensive. So I bought a regular microwave, and it's just in the yeah. slot in the island underneath. Sure. Yeah. Um, but then the fridge was full of mold, so Damn. we set it out on the curb. Okay. And, like, scrapper guys just came by and got Yeah, it. sure. Because we were just like, whatever. That's what I always do with that big stuff. I just put a thing on, on Craigslist and say, free, come get it. We just, we just, there's just guys that drive through our neighborhood yeah. with trailers full of scrap. It's a little scrap. scary though, right? That, that they're just constantly looking for crap in your yard. Yeah. But like also they're doing us a service. They're yeah. I get it. I get it. But then yeah. we found a brand new fridge at a estate sale for $400. Oh, wow. That's and good. That's really nice. French so, door. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Very so, nice. Uh, yeah. Water in the door. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those things, those things always suck. I, I can't remember when I had a uh, refrigerator where the ice maker just worked all the time. We don't even <laughs> – we don't use our ice maker. Mm-hmm. We don't believe in ice. No. I have one of those nugget ice makers. Oh. This is next like to the Like the little countertop fridge. thing? Yes. Oh, wow. That makes like sonic ice. Because you like that uh-huh. little tiny ice. That, that thing got me. Ice. That got me through pregnancy. Really? Yes. Did you eat a lot of it? Yes. Not knowing that I was so iron deficient. Iron deficient. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm still like – so iron deficient, I might have to do iron infusions. Yeah. Because um, uh, I can't get my... 20 uh, second, <laughs> me and the wife go over to the hematologist to talk about iron injections. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, because <laughs> my doctor was like, uh, you're the most iron deficient person mm. I've seen in 10 something years. And I was what, like... Cool. What was your level? Do you remember? Like the um, number? <sighs> Suzanne's no. was seven. Yeah. I think mine was like... It was under three, I think. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, that's rough. Because yeah. it, it, it fluctuated. You talk, you talk about feeling tired. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I know. When I was pregnant and I was like, ugh. I, yeah. I thought I was just pregnant. Yeah. And it was also, I was deficient in every vitamin. Yeah. Every, you know, and I still am. Because they were like, oh, after, you know, postpartum sure. and stuff, whatever, sure. and you take all this. I'm taking like 20 pills a day. Yeah. Like supplement. Yeah. My levels haven't even gone up. Um, and I'm like, it takes me about 20 minutes every morning. I get Suzanne's pills all out, and I organize them all and stuff. But it's all like, you know, iron gummy and this gummy and that kind of stuff. You yeah. Know? And I make her little little bags to take with her so she knows when to take them. That's one thing. Like, they gave me an iron supplement when I left the hospital. Yeah. And I said, no, Is thank you. Is it that you. Ferris whatever? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Ferris. T- not Ferris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I or, got you. Yeah, but. Say Ferris. I, I uh, did not take that. My mom was like, don't take it. Really? Yeah. Why? Because um, it can, like, throw off some other stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, and especially, like, right coming home from having a baby. Yeah. You're like, mom was like, let's focus on some other stuff. Yeah. And then you can bring it back. It never did. It's still just sitting there. So I'm trying to get iron other ways, but I don't eat red meat or anything, so it's hard. See, she doesn't eat a lot of red meat either. But I have to start cooking everything in a cast iron skillet. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. You, have you seen the little, little fish? The little fish. Yeah, yeah. I need to start doing that. Just throw I the need fish to order in, a, one. In, a, in a cup of tea yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a bad idea. Just try in other ways. Uh, I've also heard you drink a lot of bleach. It's got a lot of iron in it. Oh my no, God. it doesn't. I'm just, that's a joke. Can you imagine? No, I can't. Um, yeah, you put that out there and someone's going to like That's what it I'm in saying. Yeah, please don't. Like, no. I drink bleach. Don't drink bleach. Yeah. We now live in a society where people tell you to inject bleach into you. So that's uh, maybe I shouldn't have made that joke. I'm yeah. sorry. It's it's okay. All right. <laughs> How about them politics, huh? Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> uh, I can't even. All right. So I I told you before this, mm-hmm. I don't know at this point what we've listened to and what we haven't. So I can visual I can I'm a visual. It just says at singing. I don't think I don't so, think right? we did that. Okay. So this is a Sony HF ninety type one and on side B, nothing on side A, but on side B it says at singing. Now sure. I'm assuming maybe AT is a, well, is that AT? It looks like a, I mean, I guess so, right? At singing. I mean, see, the, the longer you look at it, the more it starts to morph on you, right? And turn into something else. It could be like else. UT singing? That's what I'm thinking, right? Yeah, you could be like UT Like University singing. of Texas? Yeah, I don't know. Or it could be it singing. Maybe they have an <laughs> it in their basement Cousin and it started it. to sing. All right, here we go. Uh, Let's see what we got. At singing. Ut singing. UT singing. I like it singing. (laughs) Yeah, I hope it's an it. 
I wanted when I first saw the Adams family. Yeah. I wanted that life. The hand, or you just wanted to be part I of that family. I wanted to be a part of that family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Part of me sometimes still does. I'm like, that would be really cool. Yeah. Did you watch Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. So good. Did you like it? Yeah. Loved it. I've heard all kinds of stuff about the second season. Like she's kicked out or something. I, I don't know. It doesn't ex- make any sense I'm to me because it was it was hugely uh, popular. And like them bringing back Christina Ricci. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a big deal. It's just it's smart casting. Okay, so at singing seems to have nothing. I'm gonna rewind the other side to look talk about something else. Have for you a seen um the trailer for Napoleon? I have the Apple Plus thing. The the Ridley Scott. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What thoughts? If it's Ridley Scott, I'll watch it. Period. Um, I liked the Alien prequels. Uh, I thought they were good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's slow science fiction, not as slow as Blade Runner, but it's slow science fiction, and it's and it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I think he can play just about anybody. I, number one. Yes. But. I have an issue. Yeah. What's your issue? The historical accuracy. Sure. Yeah. He and didn't shoot at the pyramids. Well, at this one, he's nine foot tall, too. Which I was is about weird. to say, he's like, <laughs> you know, maybe like 160, 180, yeah, yeah. and his normal height. There's right. no force perspective. They show Marie Antoinette being beheaded. Oh, really? On the In the trailer. Oh, I didn't see that. And she has like big, beautiful, fluffy like hair. And it was like, no, they had like cropped her all of her hair off and stuff. So, like, cropped all her hair off? Yeah, at that, right before she was beheaded. Um, oh. Like, she had all of her hair cropped off. Oh, I didn't off. know that. Yeah, but like, so you know too much. Yeah, and he <laughs> speaks in a regular that's different American that accent. That's completely different. He's and like, I, this country is mine. So and you're like, here, here's what I hmm. appreciate about those kind of accents, right? If if a movie starts off like, let's say, in French, mm-hmm. like this one does, and then slowly morphs into English, I get it because it's like, hey, audience, we know you can't understand this, so let's go into the normal accent. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I get that part. But if it's just straight up English from the beginning, that's weird. But it's also like, even his English, there should be a hint of British or French or sure. some influence. Sure. He's like, I'm walking here in front of the horse and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm, I don't know about this. Yeah. So, I mean, I think... I don't know. I think Ridley Scott makes beautiful movies, though. Absolutely. Just beautiful movies. And yeah. I, lo- I, I, I often and like... And like Gladiator. Hello. Yeah. I often like his pacing. You know, his pacing is actually pretty good. Yeah. And um, Joaquin Phoenix can do anything. Yeah. So, and yeah. I can't wait for the next Joker movie. Yeah, with, with Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. Yeah. That might be kind of cool. Can't wait. Yeah. I liked the first one. I thought it was good. Yeah. Started watching a movie last night called Worm. W-Y-R-M. Mm-hmm. It's about this kid mm-hmm. uh, that lives in a society where all children have this uh, electronic collar they have to wear. And the first time they kiss, it falls off. So it's it's kind of a uh, substitute for virginity or whatever, okay. right? But this society is so worried about pairing people up uh. because they don't want lonely people because lonely people make bad people or you oh, know they go yeah. yeah they say especially lonely boys that kind oh, of thing wow. you know okay but here's what this movie reminds me of it is uh napoleon dynamite uh with a little science fiction thrown in okay because like awkward oh super awkward his sister says uh you have to leave now i'm about to do my dance and it's quite provocative and that's so i mean that's that's <laughs> like a <laughs> That's definitely a line you would have heard in Napoleon That's Dynamite. Funny, yeah. yeah, it was pretty good. I, I started to fall asleep, so I stopped it. But um, And then I've been watching a lot of British comedy. Um, I watched one called Motherland. Okay. It's got the la- – and forgive me, I don't know her name. The lady from uh, Cuck on Earth or Cunk on Earth, hmm. uh, which was a Netflix thing where she's like a – She's a very stupid person going around having them describe the pyramids and stuff like that, okay. you know? So, hmm. but uh, she's very stupid. So. Yeah. We didn't and watch. they work in a CNC Music Factory song every single episode. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> if you want to watch something really weird, watch Kunk on Earth. Okay. It's great, though. Huh. All right. This is the other side. Let's see what happens. What did y'all watch? Nothing. We spent like an hour <laughs> scrolling. There's a land beyond. I think we, I have think we did this. listen to yeah. this. Yeah. That's like 
yeah. where you're being chased you know. through a haunted house and that just starts playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that at all. We rehashed um, Blair Witch last night. Really? Yeah. The original one, huh? Yeah, we just talked about it. Because, yeah. see, I've seen the end of the second one, but I never saw the end of the first one. So Zach told me the end of the first what one, the? and it scared me all night. How do night. you do that? I don't, because I w- was never going to watch them. Really? So I think one time it was on TV, and I was just like, I'm going to watch it in yeah. five minutes. It was like the last. Yeah. Of the second one? Yes. Wait, the second, the Blair Witch 2 or the newer Blair Witch one? I don't remember. All I know is they're like running around the house and they keep going back to like the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's the newest. Okay. One. Then. The, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. like they're outside and they like hear something. And they look up and die. Because the Cause second. Because you have to like. Yeah. You look at her or whatever. The second one is um, it's it's considered one of the worst movies ever. Um, but this director, he says that it almost uh, completely destroyed his career. <laughs> Um, wow. But I read recently that he was doing a <coughs> showing of the movie in like a like a dissection with the crowd kind of thing. So mm-hmm. he's finally come to terms with how bad it was. Yeah. But it's because the studio stepped in. Yeah. And so, you know, how do you follow up a found footage movie that's super that's, popular? And that, like at that point, no found footage movies has right. happened. Right. Right. Well, very few. Yeah. Well, yeah. But this was the big commercial one, right? Yeah. And so he followed it up with um, the the fervor that surrounded those tapes being released in that city. So you'd get all these weird people coming to town and doing all this stuff, Mm -hmm. and then they end up finding out that it's really real and things. And So it's more of a movie, and people freaking hated it. They just absolutely hated it. Now, the new one that you saw, Mm -hmm. I kind of like that one. It wasn't bad at all. It's just scary. It is scary. It's supposed to be. I don't. And then Zach told me the the end of the first one. Oh. And I was like, no. It's two movies in my life. Well, maybe three, but two that I can think of that left me feeling the same way. One is Blair Witch because I saw it in the theater. That's how old I am. Saw it in the theater, and they immediately turned the house lights on as soon as it was over, and that scared the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I was a grown man taking a shower the next day with my eyes open because I'm, like, still scared of the ending, mm-hmm. right? Then the second one I watched, uh, and I don't know if I talked to you about this or not, but Skinamarink. Mm-mm. Um, Skinamarink is something you can go watch now, <laughs> and it's basically a, a a child abandonment movie from the eyes of a four year old. Nope. Yeah, um, I guess that's what it is. The movie is shot so weirdly that like you don't ever see anybody's face. Um, it's like shoot this corner while you hear something going on. Shoot the TV while there's a cartoon looping and looping. Shoot this while you see some Legos being pushed. Oh. And then... I See, I would just cry through it. Well, yeah. At one point, the thing in the house tells the kid to put the scissors in his eyes. <gasps> yeah. And so, <laughs> it's, it is a, it's a rough movie. But um, it just... I had to stop it and start it two or three times. And again, I'm 54 years old watching a horror movie in my house with all the lights on, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm, it's not like I'm watching in the dark. Yeah. But... I, it just creeped me out. Mm-hmm. It's a creepy movie, but it's it's the most unique thing you'll ever see in your life. Yeah. Like, it's so weird. Huh. But it was good. I like horror movies, though. Yeah. There's like two movies that made me feel a certain way. The Grudge mm. and Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers is very good. So scary. Uh, that is uh, Justin Long, right? Yeah. 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 I like Justin Long quite a bit. He has a new movie... That is a retelling of Bram Stoker's Dracula, but with all the vampires being women. Oh, I love it. Yeah, and Justin Long is like the one that they lure into the house kind of thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I met him and his brother one really? time. And he's so nice. Where'd you meet him? My cousin's movie premiere. Oh. Yeah, I got to meet, at the same time. My cousin Vinny? <laughs> no. I got to meet the dude that, like, Big Lebowski's based off of. Oh, Yeah. Like the real guy, the dude. Yeah, yeah. I got to meet him, and I was like, "This is cool." I bet that was cool. Yeah, it was really neat. Huh. But yeah, my yeah my it was my cousin was premiering like it was like a short film. Yeah, and they're doing like all these short films, and now he's like a producer. He did that like Nolan Ryan movie that came out. Oh really? Yeah, it's huh. my cousin's movie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So he he directs, produces. What does he do? Produces. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very cool. Yeah, he did that like I don't know some casino movie, card movie, magician. Like movie. now you see me. No. Rounders? No. 
I don't know. It's on. It's the great John, the great Jonathan something or oh, something. Ri- oh, about the about the about the, the, the magician guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, holy crap! Yeah. Yeah. Then he did another movie. With Kate McKinnon, the amazing and Jonathan. The ama- yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, some other. He was stuff. a weirdo. He, I yeah. mean, he was he was it was cool because he was like a guy that magicians hated, kind of like Penn and Teller, mm-hmm. you know. But but he was half nuts too. Yeah, so. and then like Jump Shot, a movie called Jump Shot. Jump Shot, hmm. like about some I don't know, but yeah. So, so do you get invited to these premieres still? Um, no. Yeah. Like he, I mean, that was when I was living in L.A. Oh, so, I see. Yeah. yeah, so it was just a hop, skip, yeah. and jump. Yeah, but of. it was like that. He, like I got to go with them, and then I got to meet um, Doug Jones. Oh, as well. Really? Because he was in, he was in one that was. We haven't even started this. We're <laughs> stuck. <laughs> no, he was we're in good. one that was. Yeah. It was really cool. It was about um, like child trafficking. Oh. And it was like in a Victorian era, and he owned a he owned a candy shop. Yeah. And only men would go into this candy shop because uh, he would lure children in, and he would put them in a machine that turned them into candy. Oh my! Lord. And so he would like put all these different types of candies in the windows, and like the men would like shop for like the uh, kid kind of thing. Really? So it was like it was really good. It was just like a, an awareness yeah. kind of movie, and, yeah. and a Doug Jones was like the creepy candy guy. Yeah. But he was there, and I was like, I loved you as Billy in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> 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 like I was like so excited. That's cool. He was though. so nice. So nice. I had to meet a lot of yeah like cool people that day yeah i just meet podcast people that's about all i meet yeah yeah we're uh anyway yeah uh okay so this next one it's a uh obviously a homemade tape it's uh our our self-produced tape it's memories of the past bill grant and delia bell volume one i don't think we've listened to this one either but i don't maybe we have we tend to try to steer away from the ones that we obviously think are religious but this yeah, one no because i love tramp on the street that's the one right <laughs> that's what i was trying to get to so here it's a, it's just a white uh <laughs> if i say mimeograph do you know what i'm saying no yeah it's a uh white uh xeroxed <laughs> copy what does of that it. mean mimeograph was uh it was a machine it used uh like the um you know you have to put a page underneath it to copy it to another page kind of thing okay but it would do it automatically anyway it was before copying machine okay yeah. it was we used rocks then we used mimeographs and then we used copy machine. <laughs> tablets etch <laughs> tablets <laughs> that's right yeah i brought three of them down and one of them broke uh so on the back of this it says Bidel Music Company, B I D E L. It mm-hmm. is uh, in Hugo, Oklahoma. I have family that lives there, and it's got their freaking phone number right there. Don't you even think them. about calling them. Recorded 1970 through 1979. That's a long time. Nine years. My great aunt, John, I think my great aunt Johnny lives in Hugo, or she moved. I don't remember. Hugo. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, where's that? It's like. Uh, Across the border, like this way. <laughs> she just no. got her hand up going, like, I'm over here, over there. Yeah, north, uh, east. Northeast, like, yeah. Well, let me rephrase. Towards above the uh, above the line, above the Texas-Oklahoma line. So oh. it's, like, right there. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. Like Durant. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. in that area. Oh, okay. So this is recorded 1970-1979 at Summit Burnett Sound Studios, Dallas, Texas. No longer available on record. <laughs> Wait, I need to look this up. Summit, burn it. I'm going to look where it, it is. is. It is Summit, Summit, burn it in Dallas. Summit, burn it sound studio. Okay. Uh-huh, in Dallas. And again, Memories of the Past, Bill Grant and Delia Bell, Volume 1. This is on side one. Should be When My Time Comes to Go. This is not the one I'm interested in, but Mm-mm. we'll see what it sounds like. That's some big old hair on these folks. Oh, banjos! <laughs> <laughs> when my time comes to go, that looks exactly like I thought they would sound. Go, Sounds like Oh Brother. Oh, there's a fiddle. We're going to be passing the plate around. Please <laughs> give what you can. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right. So uh, that sounds exactly like I thought it would. Um, but I'm looking for song two, which is called Tramp on the Street. 
<laughs> a lot of banjo. I know. I love it. You ever wanted to play the banjo? Yes. Really? Yeah, my oh. cousin knows how to play. Here we go. I wanted him to teach me. Tramp on the street. Oh, this is a soulful one. Folks, y'all get ready. Only a tramp oh. was Lazarus at Lazarus. Emily, is there a mandolin back there too? I think so. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. I think so. Yeah. I think we're dealing with a banjo, a mandolin, maybe a slide guitar. Definitely a, a fiddle, not a violin. I have no idea what she's saying. That's my problem. But they left him to die like a tramp on the street. That's definitely a mandolin, right? Yeah. yeah. Jesus died. Well, that's lovely. Find anything? Yeah, this is a um, this is a Hank Williams Senior song. Really? Mm hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. huh. I guess you did mix a lot of religion and country back then, though, huh? Everything yeah. was yeah. like... Yeah. yeah. Everybody was scared of their shadow. Yeah. So I looked up the recording studio. It sold in 1997. Oh. It was made... It was made... It was... Um, it started in 69. It's across the Highway 75 from North Park in oh, Dallas. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. I bet these people are dead. You think? <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think Bill Grant and Delia Bell are dead? I bet Bill Grant was was run out of his church for some sort of something. Delia. D e l i a. Bell. Yeah. D e l i a Bell, and just Bill oh, Grant. She was born in Bonham. Oh, okay. She married Bobby Bell in 1959. Oh, she died in 2018. Mm -hmm. I bet Bobby is Bill, right? Yeah. Bill still around? Um. So. Okay, I gotta check something out here. <laughs> On the other side, there is a Francis song. Francis Leona, but she went by Delia. Okay. On the other side, there is a song called "Stairway to Heaven," <gasps> and I don't know. <laughs> Can you? <imagine? laughs> I'm just saying. Oh I don't know. Oh my god. Let's see where we're at here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He died in 2019. Oh. Okay. Across that silent sea. There's hardly any love to know me. And I know the time is near for me. I bet this is it. Oh, no. Never mind. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry. That is, uh, uh, I know the time is near for me. So, uh, since that's exactly what he said. So, <laughs> Stairway to Heaven's the one right before it. Let's see if we can catch it here. All through the ages, the Bible has told of a glorious reunion on high. If this is it, it's definitely not the Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Can you imagine? Perish away and the meek shall inherit new life. Help me, O Lord, to live by his word. Help me to leave the fight. Help me stand on the right way, for I want to stand by his side. There's something oh, no, about this, this kind of stuff. One. Oh, shoot. Hang on. I'm uh, really stupid. It's really 
like I went the wrong direction. charming. It is very charming. Yeah. And like kind of comforting. It is. It is. Uh, uh, yeah. I when I think back to like the music my grandmother listened to and stuff. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't feel the same as this stuff today. Mm-hmm. You know. Everything is now is so overproduced. It is overproduced, and everybody tries to be on six different charts. Yeah. You know, yeah. so there's no definition to the music. Yeah. I don't know if this is. I won't, I, this is either. I know the time is near for me, or Stairway to Heaven. I don't know. I just I gotta get to Stairway to Heaven. I'm sorry. Did we already hear this? If he. I don't know if that was it or not. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that the Led Zeppelin song is not on there. Oh, my gosh. His obituary? Yeah. Billy Joe Bill Grant Billy climbed, Joe Bill. climbed the stairway to heaven. There you go. When the Lord called him home on July 9th, 19, 2019. That must have been like his big <gasps> song. He was born on my birthday, May oh, 9th. Oh, wow. There you go. Woo. May 9th. Yeah. I'm May 4th. May the 4th be with Shut you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Oh! What? <laughs> what? Hold on, I got a surprise for you. Hold up. This is this is just serendipitous. This is this was not planned. Um, so this is the Sullivan family. Okay. The prettiest flowers will be blooming. Okay. Um, this is uh, S- uh, Sullivan family, S- Saint Stephen's, Alabama. Uh, Ooh. Manufactured by Crystal Inc. Uh, Hickson, Tennessee. So this one has made a journey to us. Mm-hmm. But here's the first song. It is entitled Tramp on the Street. No. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't plan that. That's crazy. It's definitely the same song, though. Yep. Yep. That's so I like the other one better. Yeah, me too. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Tramp on the street, two coats. You never mentioned them to me. Uh, to my mansion in the sky. Cool, chilly waters. Do you call that religion? Cool, chilly waters. God dang it. Stop. <laughs> Sometimes it just makes horrible noises. Oh, and then I do that. Oh, did you know you could do this? Wait. What? I can change sides. No. I had no idea I could do that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, see? So you could just rewind it. I've been. <laughs> we've been opening it up and for flipping. like a year we've been doing this. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. Oh my god. All right, side. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Side two is the Jesus story, camping in Canaan, prettiest flower, brush arbor. I'll never leave you alone. And Jesus, Savior, pilot me. By the way, this is... Uh, Wait, it's Jesus, all in- Savior, pilot me? Uh, that was one of our first tapes, remember? Was it really? I think there was another guy that like did that, and, we were, and you were like, Jesus, Savior, <laughs> pilot me. <laughs> That's how you knew it was the same thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't realize that was one that we Yeah. Did. All this stuff runs together for me. At oh, I know. Point, you know. All right. What do you got in your bag there? I don't know. Let's do a pick. Uh, See if it's something that's not religion. I know. Oh, we can't do that one. Huh. That one was made by Jesus in Tennessee. Oh, it just says Hank Williams Sr. Oh. So yeah, I bet yeah. Tramp on the Street's on this one, too. There you go. There's a lot of tramps on the street. What's in this? Oh, oh, that is pretty. An empty. So oh, my I don't God. Know. Look at this. This so, case is crazy. Yeah. 
So I don't know. Uh, it has no writing on it, so it could be empty. Yeah. So it's it's a black case, but it's got uh, like like shiny gold mm -hmm. uh, embossing on it. Sony 90 minutes, but it says Fairy Chrome Cassette. F-E-R-R-I. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't either. And the tape itself is, is a black opaque. Um, oh, the labels are different on each side, too. Look at that. Wow. Huh. I'm just fascinated by the construction of the tape. Honestly, because it's like stuff is oh. not made. <laughs> Took it out while it's rewinding. <laughs> that one's like, hello. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to catch up. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. This is blank. Nothing on either side. Uh, by the way, this tape is double coated, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm nervous. Why? Because it's probably you never empty. Know. You never know. When you look at the Nazis, they weren't that bad. It's oh, my say. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's some Kanye stuff. Mm -hmm. God, he's nuts. He's just absolutely nuts. Yes. Uh, I, I, I he, thought it they, was just. They aren't on their new show. They are, I think they aren't. Al I think what it is, they aren't allowed to say his name. Yeah. Like, he'll sue him. So he, they have to say, like, the kid's father or, like, stuff like that. He'll yeah. sue him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we got a blank tape on this side. Of course. Let's, we uh, do. Well, that's okay. Let's go to the other side. I mean, you, not every fairy chrome cassette double coated is going to have something it's on so it. It's so pretty, Just though. It is. it is very pretty. It looks very 60s. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, I, I thought at first he was just attention grabbing. Yeah. But now I'm, I'm convinced he's just insane. Same I deal with Trump. Some, I think he's insane, too. I think there's some uh, uncharted mental illness that needs to be addressed. Oh, absolutely. But, at, or but when you're could, a millionaire, nobody's going to do it. He could be just playing us all and is totally fine and is just doing this to do it. Maybe he just completely wanted out of the industry. Maybe. He's I like, don't know. Hey, how about them Nazis? Bye. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause, yeah, some of this stuff. Has he done anything since? He got a new wife. Oh, well, that's different. I mean, has he put out, like, any I don't songs think so. I didn't think so Yeah, either. I think he's lost, like, all of his brand deals and stuff. So yeah, I don't he know. lost the Yeezys, right? Oh, yeah. And so, I don't know. They said they had cr just busloads of those things just sitting around. They were trying to give them away. Mm -hmm. When the week before, they were, you know, what, $500 yeah. a pair or whatever? Yeah. That just shows you how silly that stuff is. <clears throat> because oh, yeah. one thing happens, and it loses all of its value. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you, while we're waiting for this to rewind, just mm -hmm. to check the other side. Mm -hmm. This is probably the last one. Um, did you see the a the uh, Humane AI pen that came out this week? Mm -hmm. What do you think? The Yeah, so it's a it's a little pen that you put on your, uh, on your shirt or your lapel or whatever, and it's supposed to take place of your phone. Yeah. Um, and it's supposed to get us out of the screen addiction and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. And, and, and there is something there because I can see a future where we don't carry these bulky devices around anymore. Right. Um, so the pen uses a combination of AI and, uh, vocal searches and things like that. Plus hand motions like the new Apple watch, you yes. know, does. Yeah. So it uses a lot of that to take care of your regular phone text email stuff. Yes. But. The coolest thing to me is like when you want to see it, you put your hand out and it shoots a laser on your hand and shows you what's going on on the mm -hmm. thing. Ooh. I okay. So we started. Oh. By the way, let me say let me say mm -hmm. two more things. Yeah. It is six hundred and ninety nine dollars, yeah. which to me is not that bad. No. Especially when you compare it to the price of an iPhone. Right. And the service is twenty four bucks a month. Okay. That's really not bad if that's okay. the only thing you got. All right. And then how? Do they, does your phone, like AT&T, Verizon, do they? It's T-Mobile is who the service okay. is through. Yeah. Hmm. So we actually, it, that reminded me, we did start a TV show and we weren't sure about it. Yeah. And it's based on a graphic novel called Bodies. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the previews. I don't yes. know if it's any good or not. It's like dark. It time mm -hmm. jumps. Yeah. So. It's like the same crimes or whatever, but in different periods of time. Yes. Yeah. Like the exact cool. same crime. Yeah, yes. it's cool. Um. And in the futuristic one, she has that. Oh, really? Yes. And so when I saw the commercial, I'm like, did they like yeah. on put? You wonder if it's like product placement, like yes. Apple used to, yes. and Dell, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Remember yeah. when the people were putting Gateway in movies? Like oh, there was that God. cow thing. Yeah. You know? And it was like, oh, he's working on a Gateway computer. It's just it's so, it's so, so weird. Yeah. But it was like, yeah, stuff that like, you know, hasn't come out yet. But she has one. 
and they that's how they use you know and it, it does ex- literally exactly the same so when i saw the commercial kind of thing yeah. for this i went oh i saw that already it you know? does very much look like the future though yes and with the ai stuff I, uh, well it's like th- like there's a school in the uk or i think it's in the uk um that has like an ai robot as a principal mm. so I don't nothing can go wrong there yeah yeah so i don't i don't know I think it's AI a is. Little. I think AI is fantastic if you use it as a tool. I think if you use it to replace anyone or anything, that's that's when you get in trouble. Well, it's just like all these like deep fake things. And oh, that's a whole different. It's thing. a whole yeah. yeah. So I don't know. It's. I think there are definitely positives. You know. Sure. Well, they've been like starting to use AI to cure diseases. Yeah. That are like. Yeah considered uncurable right now well in my day-to-day thing i use ai in photoshop to regeneratively i can't say that word fill like places that don't have anything do you is it is it now just a button it's it basically and it just kind of creates you select what you want you put it in there and it'll take either it'll either take it out or put more in or whatever it does a pretty good job and and the thing about it is the more you use it the more it gets used to you and it'll it'll fill in what you want yeah it's like all these like house um instagrams i follow uh-huh. are like people are using ai to create like these dream homes yep. but they're not like realistic people yeah. are like i want to build that and, and like yeah. architects are chiming yeah. in being like you can't build this yes this wall does, can't be here yeah, yeah like like a fully glass ceiling mm-hmm. on an a-frame home mm-hmm. while it's snowing seems bad isn't yeah. realistic because as you see in this the snow isn't sticking it yeah. will stick the weight yeah. da, 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 you know yeah it's just I don't know. AI can. Oh, I get it. it I get it. <clears throat> but like I use it for the Photoshop stuff. Mm-hmm. And then we started using this thing. So used to, uh, if we record anything with two or three cameras, we have to sit there and switch between the cameras as the thing is showing. Yeah. Either live or we do it later, which mm-hmm. is what we do. We do it later in, in post. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now if we define our speakers, tell it how many cameras and all this stuff, we hit a button and it goes and does all the cuts for us. In about five minutes versus an hour to two hours. And that's that that is part cool. I love. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, essentially what the strike was about mm-hmm. with like having AI that's a write script, you know, yeah. and like yeah. so in like that kind of world, yeah, there is positives and negatives. But I still think Well and you have a little bit different perspective too, because you, you were in that world for a little bit. But what's nice about mine, yeah, for the most part yeah. If they're still shooting and want real environments, they can't use AI right. to build environments. Right. I mean, they Not can, yet, but yeah. But at some point, everything will probably be probably be green screen. Yeah, and everything will be just done AI. So no like on location, anything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't which is know. Uh, that that part seems anti art to me. But totally. Yeah. How how would Game of Thrones look on a green screen? Well, I think most of it was. Well, I mean, they were on like <laughs> like. Three locations yeah, at a time, yeah, like shooting yeah. on like cliffs and like. Oh, I get you it. Know. I, and some of the CGI just sucks at this yeah. point, you know. But uh, I can see like what you used to do, how you could throw together a mock up real quick at this point, put a couch over there, put a chair over here, do a light over there, that kind well, of yeah, thing. And it would just go now, and it's done. For the most part, if you kind of. Doesn't make that sound. Well, you can like draw a rough sketch of something. Yeah. And you can push a button and it creates a better. I mean, kind of yeah, what I did, yeah, and then yeah. you can drag and drop. Yeah, so you draw, you can just like pl- draw stuff in That's places super cool, though, and move stuff around, and it kind of creates. Yeah, I mean, I, I love mean, there's that. been things for years that you could do like a 3D environment, and it would have assets that you could drag in and move yeah, around. But and all stuff. that's so expensive. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, the day to day user can't afford yes. those things. Yes, this is just through speech or 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 typing. You know. Yeah. So, this little pin thing will be interesting because there'll be something that happens. Yeah. They'll be like, yeah, they, someone was getting directions and they drove off a cliff. Sure. You know, and it's like. But how is that different from anything that's going on now? Well, I, same thing. I, I know. There was I a guy it. that was using his GPS on his phone and it told him to go one way and the road was, and he drove off a bridge. Nice. So. Michael Scott. Be, there's going to be. Drove into a pond. Yeah. You know. Oh <laughs> and that was with like a Garmin or yeah. something, you know. That oh was my years gosh. and years yeah. ago. Yeah. All right. Last one. We're going to try this other side. This is the uh, uh, fairy chrome. chrome. (laughs) That's right. Make sure I get it right. I need to figure out a way to 
start recording some weird stuff on these tapes. I know. Just so that we, it's almost a make your own. <laughs> hey, can we use AI? Does it make sounds? Yeah, you can have <gasps> AI. <gasps> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tell you. you and I both got a light bulb at the same so time. I used to do, um, well, I still do, but there's a show called Jennifer Love Hewitt, Please Be On Our Show. Mm-hmm. And the girl that used to work here, she, we would sit down and we would go over uh, episodes of Ghost Whisper, which is. I a, love that show. One of the worst shows I've ever I seen. I love in my it. Life. No. It's fine. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> it breaks all the ghost rules, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, ghosts can't get in cars and ride around with you. Mm-hmm. Um, so she, she quit. And uh, so I've just been filling content, mm-hmm. right? So what I do now is I come up with a concept of what Jennifer Love Hewitt would do in real life, and I have it write stories. Yeah. Last week was uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt stops a bank robbery. Mm-hmm. This week is Jennifer Love Hewitt, because of stopping the bank robbery, now gets a Medal of Honor and uh, becomes a character on Paw Patrol. So <laughs> the cool thing about it is... Uh-huh. That once you start one of these threads, mm-hmm. it remembers everything that it has done previously and refers back to it. That's good. So it gets super deep at a certain yeah. point. I love it. I told you about the false crime thing. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we're, we're going to do that. Um, mm. Yeah. It just makes up crimes. And then I police reports and I all this stuff. It. Yeah. That'll be cool. Yeah. That'll be cool. So anyway, uh, I'm here to say, hey, I, great. Please yeah. don't kill me, robot overlords. Right. <laughs> I know. We'll see. <laughs> well, this one's blank, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we, we sometimes go out with a whimper, not a bang. So um, It's okay. Tramp on the Street really Tramp on the street kinda brought did it. it home for us. Yeah, I believe that's our title this yeah. week, uh, <laughs> Tramp on the Street. Uh, all right, Kate. Well, I always enjoy doing this. I know. Um, and I enjoy the fact that you are helping us work on that other thing yeah. that we won't talk about. But, not yet. Um, Super secretive. I think it's cool, though. <laughs> I you know, I mean, I've talked to you about that kind of stuff before, and, mm-hmm. and I think we're finally in a place where we can do those things. You yeah, know? yeah. And then we're hiring a couple of people. I'll tell you about one of them here in a minute. But um, hey, it, we're just it, it's such big things. It's coming. growth. Big, big things. I know, and it's so, so exciting. Yeah, it's and I appreciate really you being a part of it. Of honestly. course. I mean, I'm not. I'm not I miss doing the candy podcast. I honestly, know, but it's fine. It's this is better. <laughs> this is yeah. yeah. I know. I just like eating candy. I know. All right. Well, I guess that's it. You got anything else? Mm, No, not really. Okay. I guess have a good Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, that's right. This will be the last one before Thanksgiving. Uh Yeah. Yeah. Next week, you guys will probably get uh, one of these tapes that I'm going to record. I'll Mm -hmm. just put out the whole tape. Yeah. But But uh, Thanksgiving's Thanksgiving. Oh, it's next week. We're not doing anything. You're not? Nope. All of our family all decided, everyone stay home. We'll get together at Christmas. If you, ever, if you want to come to the house, come to the house. I've been inviting everybody. <laughs> I love I it. I just tell my wife, it's like, I invited this person. I invited that person. <laughs> you want to come? Come. I don't yeah. care. I uh-huh. love Thanksgiving, so I'm I'm happy to show off my, my air fried turkey. That's, un- that's like a day that I think we'll just be like, we're going to go clean out the storage. Oh, I don't. Store. Li- no, you ought to just do nothing. I know. That day. You watch the stupid parade. You fall I asleep. Know. You eat a bunch of food. You fall asleep. You watch some football. You fall, fall asleep. asleep. I yeah. know. That should be the whole I, day. I want to do that. I think we'll probably work because the store will be closed. Oh, yeah. So we can work without being bothered. And it's not like people are bothered, but like it's hard to get work done in the back. Are y'all doing like a Black Friday thing? Uh, yeah. I mean, like not like maybe not a thing. Yeah. Sometimes we do sales. We might do a sale. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'll talk. I'll I didn't know. We'll talk to the powers that be, my <laughs> husband, <laughs> who makes all the decisions. We'll talk to the baby. Yeah. See what he says. Yeah. You know, but Black Friday is always really good for us. Yeah, people, I bet it is. I will say we're really thankful for the people that like support. Like, yeah. Being a small business on Black Friday can be hard. Oh yeah. Because everyone's Especially, yeah small. Everyone's at mom Target, and pop Walmart. small business. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. But the years that we have been open. Yeah. Was t- now. It's two years, you know, this are, yeah. God, two it goes quick, doesn't it? I know. But, I mean, we have, like, been really thankful yeah. for, like, what people. Well, you've had some good folks in there, too, that, and then one crazy one that wants to give you a discount on everything. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, I, 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 I would think that your store is unique in that people can buy very unique gifts. Yeah, right. and that's and what that's, you're always looking for. That's always weird. also hard though, because a lot of people think Christmas everything new. Yeah. Yeah, but like I will say, there's a lot of cons about social media 
that has like ruined, not ruined, has kind of hurt vintage and antique businesses oh, and stuff. Yeah. Um, but also people are like, here's a way to like make something that is found. Like here's us how to do a sustainable Christmas, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and it's turning. There's plenty of crap on the planet already. All, yeah. You don't necessarily need to buy more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It was buy something like there's enough clothes right now in the world to supply the next 13 generations. Yeesh. That's n- no. That's insanity. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think that every time I it was coming back to the trash thing, mm-hmm. I think about it every time because like I was leaving here last night. Some poor guy down there that helps clean the building was was hauling out. It must have been twenty bags of trash, and I mean those are those big industrial black bags. And I'm thinking that must be every day here. Where does it all go? I know. At some know. point we're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know where it goes. I know. Yeah, this got really sad. Yeah. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving everybody! Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Enjoy your Black Friday, also, which it's, it now starts in September. Yep. So, okay, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, there you go. Cobbled together <laughs> from the so finest part. You were like, I can oh, stand I you. until I look back and see how deep my valley, how This has been a Rogue Media Network production. Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything. And, and basically, I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best. And we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. (laughs) Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about... I'm Hank. You might remember me from a show called King of the Hill. Check out Ma, a King of the Hill rewatch podcast. These boys ain't right, but they are funny. Find the Ma podcast anywhere you get your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. I tell you what. <laughs> hmm.